This week on Outdoor Bound TV, we travel to the rolling plains of Texas for some good old fashioned Bob White quail hunting that this area of the U.S. is famous for. Our friends Bill and Gail High from Minnesota's legendary Bowen Lodge spend their winters in Texas chasing this elusive species with friends from across the country. Gail also shares with us one of her famous recipes for these delicious birds. What a fish. That's just fantastic. Here's a good fish. This is what it's all about. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts, because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout. And experience multi-species action with just one bait. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we travel to Texas with friends Bill and Gail High from Minnesota's Bowen Lodge to hunt quail in the Rolling Plains region of that state. Now, if you've never hunted quail, you'll figure out pretty quickly they're a little tough to hit. But if you're successful, the reward? is delicious. This is a 16 gauge David Mackay Brown round bodied back action gun uh, made in Scotland. And uh, look at the beautiful case coloring and, uh, and the wood on it. It's a piece of art, it's a beautiful gun. Cool, here Sam, see, we, see how, how the adjustments work for you. Missed the last 10 with it, so. <laughs> <laughs> well. One thing I really admire about Sam is that he's, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've watched him over the years. We've watched each other over the years. <laughs> but uh, Sam has really, really come on to become a really accomplished uh, bird hunter, whether it's uh, in the prairies, uh, up in Montana, to uh, Minnesota grouse woods, to 
Texas quail to Florida Georgia quail, and uh, I really admire you to the level that you brought it, and and uh, it's been a fun fun chance to be able to be with you on so many trips. Well, you had a lot to do with it. I mean, honestly, uh, we did a lot of that together. So, yeah. cool. Hitting it, see there? Yep. Okay. Yep. And if you want the map, you hit the map. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Right, right. I got. I only have about five. Okay. No box. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This would be cool. Okay. All right, Daisy, come. Down goes Frazier. There you go. Hook those dogs up for a second, will you? We got a buffalo skull. Looks like a buffalo skeleton that's buried in a little bit of a mud bank here. It's about five feet down from the surface layer. It's fine there, and the skull is over here. This is the base of a horn off of a buffalo skull. You can kind of see the rest of the skull coming out. It's going to be pretty crumbly. That's definitely a buffalo, buffalo skull. This is a vertebra right here with a series of rib bones coming off it. This is the way the horn fits on here. This is the brow and the eye socket here and then the back of the skull here, the other horn's pointed into the bank. Upper jaw would be pointed kind of in that way. Real crumbly because of the moisture in the soil. The only thing that's probably intact is the teeth, which have a harder enamel than the bone. They're more resistant to water. They preserve a little bit better. This is pretty hard right here. Yeah, the best way uh, I found a queen quail is because you you want to, you know, it has to do with how you cook them. And so, so it goes in stages. You cut the head, the wings, you clip the feet, and then the tail, and then, and then you, you just do this in stages. The second step of uh, cleaning the birds after you've clipped all the appendages is that you, you just basically skin it and pull all the feathers and, and skin off. Off it would be stage two. Stage three of uh, cleaning a quail is you just take the scissors and you snip up each side of the backbone as such. And then that allows the, the guts to fall right out, just like it is, like that. So it allows you to do the, the stuffings, and then you wrap it in the in the pasudo or the bacon, and then and then we'll be seeing it on the grill on the mesquite grill here shortly. Hi 
everyone. Tonight we are preparing bob white quail from Texas where we're down here hunting. Tonight I'm going to show you how, to, how I like to prepare quail on the grill. So I take a piece of apple that I've already cored and sliced into about half an inch slices and stick it right into the breast of the quail. You can also put jalapenos in there. Hairs are also very good. Something that adds sweetness to the meat and keeps it from drying out. Now I have some prosciutto, which is very thin Italian bacon. I think that it works better because it isn't as, uh, it's not as pungent as like bacon is and not as greasy. So I'm just gonna take this little strip of prosciutto, wrap it around the quail, like so. I don't even have to put a toothpick or anything in it because it sticks to it like tape. And put it in my little rack. Now for the bacon, this particular kind was thick sliced. What I like to do then is just stretch it out so that it's not so thick. Take your quail again, which I put a little bit of olive oil on. Put a piece of apple in there. Take the bacon and wrap it like so. So it holds that apple right in there. Holds the quail, gives it a nice flavor when we put it on the mesquite grill. So now I have the quail all prepared. I have it sitting in this basket, which is what I like to use when I'm doing it over a fire. I take the cover, slip it in here like so. There's a little gadget that holds that in. So then you're able to hold it over the flames of the fire. Now, because we're in Texas and we have a lot of mesquite, I'm using mesquite fire. Three or four minutes on one side, turn it over, get a little bit crunchy on the other side. You don't want to overcook quail because quail is so delicate. So what you want to do is maybe do it for a total of five or six minutes is all, and then take it off of the grill and enjoy. All right, I'm gonna take these quail and put them over the fire, and we'll be right back with Outdoor Bound TV after these messages. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral and HHA Sports. Seeds. The results speak for themselves. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Kingpin marks the third generation of archery's number one selling single pin adjustable sight. On the range or in the field, start ruling your kingdom today with the Optimizer Kingpin. The Optimizer Speed Dial. Extend the range and accuracy of your crossbow. To the yard accuracy with a single reticle. Simply range, dial, and shoot. All Optimizer sight systems are made in the USA and carry a 100% lifetime guarantee. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. It's finally here, the totally redesigned, all-new Topwater Tinhead, only from Nasebaits. That is going to get crushed. Handcrafted in the heart of Wisconsin since 1968, Golden Hawk canoes are inspired by the tradition of early wilderness explorers and modern-day canoeing know-how. Customized to meet your exact needs with precision, uniformity, and strength, our unique, full-contour hull design contributes to stability whether you're hunting, fishing, trapping, or just spending an afternoon on the water. Handcrafted fun and satisfaction for a lifetime. Golden Hawk Canoe. You know, each year we receive thousands of photos from our viewers of animals that you've harvested and fish that you've caught. And we love to share them with you here on the show. And this year you can win some great prizes once again, just for sending us your photos. 
All you have to do to be eligible to win is email us your photo or share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Prizes include an assortment of musky lures from Nasebaits, a Yeti cooler from Petrick Service Station, a trip for two aboard the Grand Illusion 2 charter boat on Lake Michigan, and this year's grand prize, a four-day, three-night fishing vacation at Sunset Cove Resort on Lake of the Woods, Ontario. And remember, all you have to do to be eligible to win is send us your photo with your name and your hometown. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Let's eat. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm hungry. Wow, doesn't that look good? I can tell you firsthand, it tastes just as good as it looks. Now next, we head up the road just a few miles where we meet Grand Rapids, Minnesota native, Wayne Jacobson, who spends most of his winters in Texas hunting quail and managing his ranch for this species. Penny, go oh, Penny, go oh, Penny. I saw you know that second little wave on just going out of the tree. Oh, that's a good You can hear him whistling all through that field on the other side. There's another one. They ran until they hit the road, and when they run out of cover like that, they... See that cloud of feathers?
Got some tail feathers, but fortunately that looks like all I got. She bumped a, a covey back here and then she was coming through and the birds were, as you saw them walking on the ground there, and she just got a little bit close to them. She was coming and, and uh, by the time she smelled them, I, they were they were jumpy and they could be because of the rig being this close and everything going on. They might be a little more jumpy than if she'd have found them away from us. It's an immature bird. You can tell, see the white tips right here, the secondaries right, right along there? That's an immature bird. I mean, you have real good uh, nesting recruitment like we had this year, why you're, you means you're killing a lot of young birds. <laughs> Where are you, Gail? This is a male quail uh, cockbird, and this is a hen. If you look out here, most of this grass is, there's some high plains uh, bristle grass and weeds and clumps. Uh, quail need to be able to get to bare earth to eat seeds to find them and to move around. A heavy grass or fescue cover isn't good for quail. They need to be able to run around. The, they're not very big, they're that high, so uh, they need to be able to maneuver and find feed in here, but they also need to be close to the cover. There's also broomweed thrown in, and broomweed's one of the great uh, rolling plains feed it, it serves as a food and cover. It provides a canopy the quail can get underneath and the seeds fall down and they're able to eat them. And uh, it's not something, it's not cattle forage, so the cows leave it alone. And it's kind of the salvation of quail in the hard years of the rolling plains. What we try to do here is provide a situation where they continually have feed and uh, cover in the same proximity. Quail don't like to fly very far to their to feed or water. They don't need much water, but they don't they don't travel a long ways if they don't have to. So that's basically what we've tried to do here. That bird went down. I may not find him. Get him from him, you choose him up a little bit. Good dog, Blackie, good dog.
Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brewpub Pizza and Kalen's Fishing Baits. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. We handle your races, your jumps, and your trails. Isn't it time you give your daily driver the same love? Amsoil Signature Series Synthetic Motor Oil delivers 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by a leading industry standard. Amsoil also offers a full family of snowmobile lubricants, giving you above and beyond fortification for your weekday and weekend vehicles. Order direct online at qcamsoil.myamsoil.com. Hi everyone, this is Gail High. Here is your weekly fishing tip presented by Bowen Lodge. Hi, I'm Grant Prokop from Cohasset, Minnesota. I like targeting big pike and muskies on Winnie. Places I like to target these fish are in the weeds, in the spring, and in the fall on the boulders, as well sometimes in the sand in the middle of the summer. For more great fishing tips, log on to bowenlodge.com. Big Bear Down. Whether you're looking for a sweet recipe for bear bait or quality bear scents, we've got you covered. Big Bear Down offers all their bait selections by the bag, the barrel, or in bulk. From crushed sugar cones, trail mix, and granola, to our syrups, frostings, and bait toppings, we've got the variety to keep the most cautious bears coming back again and again. Big Bear Down scents can be used as an attractant or cover scent and draws bears in from miles around. Look for Big Bear Down by our distributing at two convenient Wisconsin locations or at a retailer near you. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants and Mountain Dew. You know, Texas has a long hunting heritage for white-tailed deer, hogs, and many exotic animals. But thanks to the work of ranchers like Wayne, the Bob White quail numbers are among some of the strongest in recent history. Now we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Bill, I have a question for you. Mm hmm Have you ever noticed when you clean a duck or quail that your neck <laughs> smells just like it? <laughs> That's true. I'm, I'm, I'm serious about that.